So this is the default uh, book one. A workbook also contains a number of pages. What are the number of pages? Are called worksheets. This worksheet is also called a spreadsheet. A worksheet contains of one million. Um, 48,576 rows and 16,834 columns. There might be more. This is uh, 2016 data. But it might be more than, you know, look at these. If you see D, E, D, F, D, G, D, I, D, K, F, U, G, X, K. Okay, the time is getting wasted. So, yeah, while we're scrolling back, let's go. Um, continue. So this Excel window, um, which we call a workbook, and the default name of the worksheet, if you see over here, over here, it is sheet one so that is the default name now if we if i click anywhere it's over here it's a and over here it's two so we call it a2 now if i click over here this is the zero if i click um here what do you guess it is yeah come on guess it very simple over here and over here g4 so we call this g4 this is h2 this is c6 this is f16 so yeah that is the name box now this is the active cell which you see over here that is the active cell and this example over here if i do this this is a range and there's even like a formula bar and stuff yeah so uh let's try see you can make this charts as well like yeah Now this is the ribbon which you must have learned Microsoft Word everywhere actually. And now this is the status bar is ready, accessibility, good to go. Okay, so let's continue. Now how do we create um like a new workbook? We have if you open microsoft excel it will be like this you can either go to over here new and it will be a blank workbook or else if you go to home this will now it's good afternoon so it's afternoon yeah so now over here click blank workbook and it will automatically redirect to you over there now if you use the keys so i'm using the right key it goes right left key it goes left up key it goes up and down key it goes down so now let's move on with writing the data so now let's make a sheet let's make a sheet of employees income so people income so over here i'll go to um I'll select this and if i do to center that will probably go to the center yep there it is in the center so i don't think it's in so oh, oh, okay so now this is the people income now let's write some names um person one now i'm just gonna write um like five people names real quick and i'll be right back so yeah
Okay, so now I want to write um one. So if I want to write over here name, so if I want to write it over here, so I'm just gonna double click here and you can just type if I write your names and I leave um job and now we'll write over here income we'll also write over here uh, company yeah so we've written names job income company so if we write over here jack's job is for a manager and his income is about 1800 um dollars per month okay now let's go for a company stock studios now let's write the name jones he she works as an employee and her income is just below 18,000 1800 will write about a $1,500 and she works for Tony Rods now Jill Jill is a teacher and she earns about Let's go for 1,600 and she works for Saint, um, Saint, let's write Mark School. Okay. Now, Hilda. Hilda works as an engineer. And she's a pretty good engineer, so she earns about $2,500 per year. And she works for Norton Mark. And Felicity Rivers. <laughs> so let's say she works as a doctor. And she earns about 4,600 per month. Let's say she works at NMS Hospital. And Daryl, what's the job? Chief Reporter. So, she earns about... four thousand five hundred and sixty dollars per month and she works for daily reporters so yeah without knowing it we made like a graph we'll just copy this all up because I want to like you know Paste this. I'll um, delete this if I can. Just a sec. Yeah, okay, here you go. If I copy this all up, so
let's put this in the center alignment let's do this like over here a bit oh heck okay this is centered okay so now let's write income of these people and now let's um sum up like let's say these two assessors felicity and dad so we want to add up their income using a formula so we are going to just do over here let's put a formula equal to sum and we'll write just select this two and this click enter uh, wait a second yeah this was the far formula but I don't know what's up something's wrong supposed to be the right formula oh Okay, there is also formula which will work. Let's write equal to sum and we'll write in the bracket E16, E, uh, 16 plus E17. We'll close this and enter. Slam value. Oh. Okay, okay. Uh, let's do that. Okay, okay. Done. Stop it. Okay. All right. So we have made this um thing. We have made this table of the employees' income. And now I want to make this like look more better. So over here, let's do bold. I want to do this italic. Let's do italic. You know what? I want to do this. We'll do this um, is like a bit more color. Will look fine. Let's do this. I want this to be um, black is fine. It's blue. Yeah, okay, we'll do this as blue. I'll do this as a dark shade of like, you know, blue. I'll do this a bit lighter. Yeah, lighter. This all, I'll do this black. Okay, so we've also sorted out this. Now let's do this to the center. Let's do all this merge and center. Okay, so yeah, now it's looking very nice. No. Can even change or delete. Now let's move on with the sheet. If I want to change the name into income, I'll do that. If I want to delete this, I can just click 
right click and then do delete so yeah deleting done if you want to add new worksheet you can just do right click insert worksheet but yeah uh, you can instead just click on this plus and yeah, that is better so now yeah that is it for today thank you very much we have made all right so that is it for the day we have done pretty well we made this chart and we'll make more later so yeah thank you very much